All right, okie dokie, welcome back to another video. So yeah, you guys haven't seen me in a while, but we're gonna go do some kayak fishing in this video. Actually, we're going tomorrow, but I gotta rig the kayak up. It's kind of late. I have some new things on the kayak that I wanna show you guys real quick. And then I gotta rig up some new rods. I gotta throw this back on. It's just like a one more special, it's the Lawrence Hook 7. Nothing crazy, but it can show me water temp, depth, and maybe some marks on some fish, but mostly I'm looking for depth. I uh, added these tie downs so I can tie up to a log or whatever. So I forgot what these are called, but I got these from Amazon. Marm gave me these like Bass Pro rod holders. So we're gonna use these tomorrow. And then I gotta throw the Lawrence right there. And then I have that. So we'll get this all hooked up, make sure everything's all good to go. Okie dokie. He looks like we're like <clears throat> the only ones on the lake. There's someone fishing on the bank over there, but and then I brought my ultralight, uh brought some swimmers, some flutes, and a bunch of crappie head jigs that Buck Jay made from the molds and stuff like that. But I'm gonna throw on the water's kinda murky, so I'm gonna try to do white and like a dark color cast around in that brush pile and see what we can come across and some of you guys have been asking like for us to see tell you guys what we use um so this is a six foot i actually ordered a 610 but a six foot came in but this is a lose laser sg1 speed stick this is i believe this is six pound braid and then i have a six pound monofilament leader i basically got like all day i got a haircut at three so i gotta get out of two because i'm about like an hour away from the place but basically got like all day so i'm hoping i can catch some bait pretty quick and then probably just cast around while i wait for fish to bite on the, on the cat rods but i haven't came out here and done this in like maybe like two years or so maybe more uh, i think it's been two years maybe less actually but I think there's like a 20 pound channel in here. There's no flatties, unfortunately, but there's some big channels. Ooh, I just got bit again. Come on. I do have a good chance of catching like a giant bass too. Before we're down there by them rocks, try those. Ooh, I just got hit. Damn. To be gills, must be. Time to kick off the whole. What are you doing here? I definitely got mismatched and socks, but that's besides the point. That one's inside out. What the hell, bro? These geese better chill out, bro. I swear to God, they come flying at me. I'm jumping my ass in the water. Ain't no way in hell. Oh, damn, I'm missing a tail on this one. No wonder I'm not getting bit. I knew they're snagged. I think I'm snagged. Bag up, Terry, bag up. Oh, there's a gill right there. Mr. Gill? Can you just eat my bait, please? He's, eat, he's trying to eat my bait. I think he has it. Did I get it out? Oh, he does have my bait. Look at that. Oh, yeah. First one, little one, perfect size. I got freaking snagged. And he came up. And bit. My bait. Got one. Oh, another gill. Oh, yay. 
three. Kill number two. Right. We'll find our cat spot. Tie down something. I'll probably use the stringer tie down because I just realized I don't even have a paracord or nothing. Both of these rods were gifted to me by my girlfriend's dad. And, uh, yeah, so this one is a Zepco, looks like it's a hog seeker. It's a seven foot medium heavy. I got 50 pound braid on there. That reel is from Amazon. And basically everything I use from Amazon. So just simple, basic swivel and basically a simple Carolina rig. Uh, this one's basically the same exact thing, but this reel is right handed. I am left handed. So. Uh, I'm just trying out this reel so that way I can maybe see if, if I like this one enough I'll maybe buy the same one for, for that one but so far it has been bad I have yet to catch a fish with it so I don't quite know yet so we got two pieces of bluegill on there and now we're just waiting just kind of chilling it's getting a little bit more warmer out it's probably about 70 degrees now water temp is 69 so 70 degrees basically. This lake is not very deep to begin with, so it's not too terribly hard to find. Oh, 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 already. Oh my god, what the hell? I was just talking. I got bit. I'm sure I let him eat it now. He tweaked. Dang it. I got bit, dude. Right, that's deep right there. It is deep right there, son. Damn. No, I tweaked so hard. We'll reel this one in and check it. I put this one a little more shallow. Oh, yeah, that one's deep too. Let's try that again. I got a little too excited there. I haven't got a bite like that in a while. But they're biting. They're here. I just gotta not mess up. Rookie mistake. Rookie, rookie. That might have been a smaller one. Maybe. I don't know. These are circle hooks. I freaking hate circle hooks. It's the only thing I had. We, the one year we came out here and made that one video and we caught those catfish I literally had well we got these like catfish hooks from an MTB box and they were like I don't I, I don't know what they're called or what but they were great I don't know it was like the bass fisherman in me that just wants to like rip the freaking rod like super hard or what but I gotta remember if they start buying I should probably reel down first Maybe let him take a little more. He was on there, though. I could feel him biting it. Oh, here we go. Right here, right here, right here. Come on, eat that. Take it down all the way. All the way. I guess while I sit here, I'll just throw around the ultra light and wind this bank behind me. See if we can catch more while we wait here. Oh, wait, that was a hard dump. Come on, eat it. I don't think there's turtles in here. I hope to God there's not turtles in here. I don't have any pliers. Should I send it? What the hell? Come on. What am I doing wrong? She's nipping at it. Don't tell me that's a turtle. No way. There's no way that's a turtle. 
We'll try this bait a little more. I'm gonna go a little more left. Yeah, that is a turtle hook. Keep it away from them. Oh, this one's getting hit. This rod is so damn stiff, I didn't realize it. But this one is getting hit. Look at that. Come on. Eat it. Yeah, there you go. Come on. Let me tug on it hard. He's still there, I can feel him tugging on it. Here he goes. Oh, no. Come on. Do it again. Here he goes, here he goes, here he goes. I got him. Oh yeah, we got one, baby. We got one. This feels so weird. I'm not used to this. This rod is definitely manhandling. I'll have to get away. Get away from the rod. There he comes. He's right here. Oh, that's a decent one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh yeah, son. Woo! No <laughs> to yak. Yes, sir. Holy. Holy, relax, 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 relax. Hey, hey, hey. Honor your little mother. Chill, 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 chill. Chill, chill, chill. Relax, son, relax. Yeah, there it is. Dunk him real quick. Don't go stupid on me now. You relax. All right, here we go. First one. Freaking, not a huge one. He's probably, oh, here, we can measure him. He's uh, about 20 inches, so not terrible, but I'll take it. First one of the freaking day. We're gonna get a picture real quick and then uh, we'll send him back on his way. He bit me. There he goes. Sweet. On to the next one. Let's go. Freaking caught one. No way. That was kind of a mess. There's much bigger ones in here. Let's check out our bait here. It's a little torn up. We'll, we'll give it a try here in a second. A little bit longer. See how well she does. If anything, I'll just swap it out. But we'll try this one. Sweet. Might need to upgrade these rod holders because that fish was like about to shoot. Take that rod completely in. So, I'm gonna try right here in front of me. That thing. Well, I'm back at the same spot that originally was at. Just because I got bites here, so I mean, they're obviously moving through here. It's been about like an hour and a half. So I, I don't know what what the hell happened. Got here, caught my bait, came over, literally right here. Just seen that it was deeper. There's a tree over there to my right a little bit more and we got like maybe five bites right off the rip we just got a hard takedown guys holy crap i was just sitting here and this thing just folded yeah, this was a pretty good one let's go Tree right under me, I gotta get this thing up. Get out of there. Get out of the tree. A little bit better. A little bit better one. He's stuck in the tree. giant it's pretty big bigger than the last one 
There you go. Oh, he's a fat boy. Whoa, 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 chill, 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 chill. Just slide me all up. Chill, chill. Calm down. All right, here we go. Look at this freaking chunk. Look at that belly on this thing. He absolutely just folded that rod. I was just sitting here and that rod just bent over. But yeah, he has a whole bunch of battle scars on him and stuff like that. Super cool. It took me like three hours to get this bite. So we're gonna get another pick and let him go. Let this ornery fish go. By non. There she goes. Back in the brush. That was a pretty cool takedown. I don't think I've ever seen one take one down like that in my life. All right. I'm not taking a picture of another one. This is bigger. Give you guys a cool angle. Um, oh, jeez. This is a mess.